Uh, can, can you tell us about this? Yeah, I'll tell you what happened, uh, Sorg. Um, as you and perhaps even one or two of your Mayhem friends may realize, I, uh, I have a real job. I'm a, and he's the only a, one of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, uh, I'm a TV news producer for KDK TV. Um, you know, as is normally the case in large office settings, I'm one of maybe two and a half people in a work staff of hundreds that actually knows anything about professional wrestling. Um, so, you know, obviously about a, as we were approaching the Royal Rumble, um, I still had a contact at WWE who I uh, paid whenever Bruno was getting his induction a year ago. And uh, after a little bit of prodding uh, from my wife, who I thank for encouraging no me to way. do this, um, <laughs> I dropped him a quickie and he just kind of said, you know, hey, is there going to be any media availability? Do you want to, um, you know, can you get us, you know, a wrestler or two to talk to here so we can put him on the news? You know, we can do a little coverage for, for the Rumble. Um, and uh, long story short, they served up for me to interview Stephanie McMahon. And uh, that is what happened. In the afternoon, we, um, we went in there with a KDK TV crew. We had uh, someone with a still camera. We had someone with a video camera. And uh, I went back there, and uh, Stephanie and I had ourselves a little chat for about 10 to 15 minutes. We talked about uh, the Rumble. We talked about the WWE Network. We talked about Bruno San Martino. Um, we talked about a bunch of different things. We kind of talked about... Um, she gave some nice insight into kind of like what her routine is like, um, at least on a weekend of a major pay-per-view. Um, it was some good stuff. Um, I oh. can't remember what exactly she told me. I don't want to be too evasive, but um, we do have this little thing coming up starting on Thursday. It's called ratings sweeps, if you will. <laughs> it's kind of the hot you know, period where we folks in TV news, we like to really try. Instead of uh, <laughs> doing normal slacking off, <laughs> we'll be telling see, you this. this is kind of a trade secret. Anyway, see, as opposed um, to us podcasters, where we'll, we'll, we just don't try twenty four seven. Um, we got a we we got some nice material. We got some good answers, good. interesting stuff from her. We're gonna see what we can do with it. We've got some material. We're gonna try to make something of it. Um, it's extremely exclusive. No other local station spoke with her. Nice. I don't know. What other interviews she's been doing, I couldn't find her talking to anybody, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, the sense I get is that as she's taking over this uh, new role as the chief brand officer, um, that part of that role may be her kind of being the, the front person for WWE uh, when it comes to dealing with nosy reporters like myself so whereas in the past we've got used to seeing vince mcmahon doing the sit down interviews with costas and things like that i get the sense as i sit and i kind of ponder how this whole thing played out that perhaps that the long-term plan is that stephanie will be that uh, out front face that person that the networks are interviewing and that this is was kind of an opportunity to you know do an interview with the local station and um mm -hmm kind of see how things goes. It was a it was a very positive experience. She was a very cool person. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure like any of you, I didn't know quite what to expect. I didn't know quite what to expect walking through the backstage area. But it was a very cool experience. Everyone back there was super cool to us, super professional. Stephanie was super professional. Um, the point person in their communications PR department who we dealt with could not have been nicer. The hospitality could not have been nicer. I mean, this is a traveling road show of like 300 plus people and everyone back there is just in constant motion and they all know exactly what they're doing. It was an impressive operation to see that up close. And um, I don't know, I, I, you guys want to ask me anything more about it. I mean, I'm happy to talk about it. I'm, 
we're a little bit embarrassed at this point that it even happened. Wh wh but, where um, it was a cool experience. What what you smell like? Yeah, that's what we've been pro <laughs> that's what we've been promoting this. That's this, the only this reason here. <laughs> Everybody has. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've been showing photos, of course, uh, if you guys on video that uh, that your wife took actually of uh, you yeah, and Stephanie. Yeah, So. Uh, <laughs> Did you, uh, wait, you know, I, I got, you know, Sorgan, as you found out firsthand, my wife is very skilled with a skilled that. camera, <laughs> and uh, she was taking shots that we're probably going to uh, be sharing on the KDK.com website here as kind of awesome. part of our coverage here. We're going to probably like roll this stuff out over a period of like a uh, couple days or so, and um, I'm hoping that uh, everyone gets to see um, a big chunk of uh, the interview. Mm. Uh, even if it is uh, just on the website, and some of the highlights that uh, have a little broader appeal, we'll put on the uh, on the television. Okay, for okay, okay. That's enough. Fl that's, cool. Wait, wait, Matt, Matt, Matt. That's enough fluff. Let's question. get back to the major question. TV here. news is okay. fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we put out the we put up the call because we wanted to find out from you the real dirt. What does Stephanie McMahon smell like? Now we have a lot. I, I want to throw out there. We have a lot of. A lot of guesses uh, <laughs> that were that were up on Facebook. Uh, Charmin says lemonade. I'm not saying what Riz said. Um, uh, uh, Car says success, the essence of Levesque, or Le Levesque, or whatever we were saying earlier uh, before Levesque. the show. Um, smelled, smells like pure awesomeness. Oh, that was your wife, actually. Um, let's see what we got. <laughs> Orphan Tears was one. Uh, Lilacs, the tears of Brian Daniel fans. Daniel Bryan fans, sorry. Uh, so the, what is, what did Stephanie McMahon smell like? Power. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I, I want to stress. <laughs> and I want to make this very clear. I want to make this very clear. And I don't care if the internet wrestling community excommunicates me for this. Stephanie McMahon was a very nice person. And I look forward to speaking with her again. Hopefully in the very near future. All right, so so we definitely. I have a question. No, no, no. I have okay. a question. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not a filth question. It's a real question. So you're you're talking about running this on Sweeps Week and everything like that, and um, it's an exclusive, and no other outlets are talking to her. Does that mean that you talk to her about more than just the Royal Rumble? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. We talked, about the, we, we talked about the Rumble because it's something that you know when you're doing like a story you know a report on the event day of you we did run some sound with stephanie on the day of the event itself on sunday during one of our newscasts and and it, I, it, it feels stupid for me to even be asking her but like you have to ask her like you know explain to the people who are watching who don't understand anything what the royal rumble is that those are the kinds of questions that you yeah. sometimes have to ask and that kind of earned a couple doing that just because in tv news that's in local tv news it's something you have to do yeah um but we did talk about the network at length the majority of the yeah. year probably and we covered some pretty good ground i think i think we got some good answers about a couple content questions that have been being bounced around a little bit mm -hmm. um like i said we talked about bruno a little bit because that's of local interest um and uh yeah just trying to hit where there are kind of a couple different questions here or there and try to get some different unique answers out of her um she shares some pretty interesting stuff um and, and I, I apologize I, I i would love to just spill all the beans right here but i kind of have to keep it under wraps for <laughs> oh no no it's, 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 it's uh, sweeps week you got the exclusive and, and, and uh, you know it's kind of a sweeps Carlos month exclusive. lb we, we go all month we go all month. Ooh, shit. It's crazy. <laughs> awesome. I, um, I, I've never been so interested in watching the news before. <laughs> yeah, well, if, if there's ever a time for you to watch the news, uh, you should start on Thursday because that's when we start to try. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to miss it. That's amazing. I, I, I know you've always wondered what happens when the TV news people really crank it up um, Thursday. That's when you'll see. <laughs> um, no, no, you did. We did. We did allude to it a little bit earlier. So your wife actually got to talk to her too. She got to go back stage with you. Uh, I know. I know. She saw a lot of uh, people. She was uh, big fans of. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, that that experience uh, for her? 
yeah, yeah, it, it was it was cool because after the interview was over, um, um, we were kind of milling around, and you know, it was it was. I mean, like I said, it was cool. She didn't Stephanie did not end the interview, drop mic, and run off. She hung out and, and was chatting with us a little bit, and uh, you know, as luck would have it, um, we have something in common in that we both have um, an army of little rug rats. You know, she and what's his name have very kids and. My wife and I have a couple boys, and they're all around the same age, so it was kind of really? an instant bond. And <laughs> my wife and, uh, <laughs> started, to, uh, started to trade started to trade baby stories. And um, Stephanie was very interested in the fact that our four year old watches WWE <laughs> and um, wanted to know who his favorite was. And um, we had to explain to her that. He's kind of on a rotation right now between uh, Punk, Brian, and The Shield. And uh, once she heard The Shield, she asked us, does he have a favorite member of The Shield? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, he likes the same guy you like. Um, no, it's... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, he likes Roman, too. Who doesn't? Um, yeah, but very cool. The boys and that, the girls um, like him. We, we, we had something in common. It was... It was, it was um, yeah, it was cool. Uh, it, it's 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 a weird experience to kind of like um, you, you're you're like okay, you're standing there waiting for her to come down for the interview because we're kind of like we're set up in the um in actually the backstage interview area, which the production people at WWE had like lit this backstage interview area for us. Um, the you, same one you saw the the Renee Young position basically, and they had this. Thing all set up and lit for us and we were just standing there waiting for um, Stephanie to come down and talk to us and um, you're kind of like in your brain you have like this like you're kind of amped up and you know trying to focus on what you have to do. Um, and it's just strange like once you meet the person face to face it's like all the illusion is gone it's just like oh you're just another person let's talk mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Bruce cool like wants that. to know if you asked her what vegetable she can be. I understand if that's the sweeps question that you're not allowed to talk Damn about. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Oh. You know, I'm, <laughs> I got about an hour's worth of questions that I want to ask her now. <laughs> well, next time, hey, they're coming back Already? in June. And that was before I had what kind of vegetable would you want to be. Somebody had told me, hey, that, um, that somebody was talking to me about the interview today at the station and he asked me, did you ask her how Shane is? And I was like, damn it. I mean, I think any of you, if you're in my position and they come to you and you're like, okay, Sorg, good news. Sorg. I've got 10 to 15 minutes for you to talk to Stephanie McMahon. Now, what do you two want to do at that time? What are you going to ask her, Sorg? You know, that's... How do you smell so good? <laughs> what do you smell like? <laughs> why, do you smell like <laughs> why do you smell like ginger ale and aggressively sweaty feet? <laughs> Stop it. Stop. We're spoiling his story. Uh, and, and also, on a side note... Uh, you're spoiling my story, you're spoiling my chance to get another one. So. Oh, so, Char Charmin also says if he's ever elected office, he wants you as his, as his hype guy. Me as his hype guy? Yeah, I guess so. The, the art of the tease is something we uh, that is taught in college when you're uh, coming into the TV news. It's like, teasing 101... Um, I'm sorry to do this to you, Sword. Really, I, I would love to tell you everything, but I got to keep it under wraps. Understandable, understandable. On that point, let's cap that then. Uh, so look at that, KDKA news. Will it, uh, for those that are not in Pittsburgh, will this uh, be online as well? Yeah. Um, keep your keep your antenna up to KDKA.com, and if you follow me on Twitter at Matt Carlin's, I swear to Holy Jesus, anything we put up on our website, I will tweet out. Please. So that all of you can take part and look at what a terrible interviewer I am. No, I, I, <laughs> oh, it can't be any worse. I'm not going to oversell this, but um, I don't want to over. It's the greatest thing of all time, but it was um, it, it was a it, it was a very interesting um, little chat. It was exclusive, and I'm not seeing anybody else talking to her, so I was 
very uh, excited that we got a chance to do it. Awesome. Very, very cool. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with Remember When. We're going to talk a bit more about our Rumble experience, I believe, and uh, bring in the rest of the Yahoos to talk about that and hopefully get a perspective from people that weren't there. I think we'll have one lone person.